My name is Johannes, and I take pictures. I got a really good trick on how to get more uh, sharper photos uh, using a trick in the camera, and I will show you that today. So hang tight. So you might have tried this like me, that you take this uh, great shot, but when you come home and look at it, you realize that it's not uh, that sharp. And the mistake here is that I used the too slow shutter speed. Um, and I have another one from the same session where it's uh, way more crispy and sharp. And I uh, did use a faster shutter speed for this. Fortunately, I have a great way to fix this for another time. So the way technology works these days, I was actually rely more on the camera making the right decisions for my pictures than I would then rely myself. Uh, that being said, you should not use the auto function because yeah, that's too much uh, control to the camera. But I really like to shoot in aperture mode where you get some control, um, but still the camera will help you. And just to sum up, if you don't know, I think you do, but aperture mode is the way you control how blurry, uh, how much of uh, the frame you want to be in focus. So the big issue with aperture mode is that the camera will choose the, the shutter speed for you. And sometimes that's uh, really good, but in other situations that's not so good. For instance, if you're shooting kids or animals, they may uh, move too fast for the camera. If it's, uh, it's let's say it picks uh, 1 over 50 shutter speed, that's way too low. Um, but there is a trick that you can uh, tell the camera that you will never have the camera to pick a shutter speed lower than a certain value. This is also really good when you're shooting handheld because uh, there's this rule that tells you that you should always have double the shutter speed uh, than the length of your lens. Like, for instance, I'm shooting on a 24mm right now and uh, if I want to shoot handheld, I should at least shoot 1 over 50 if I want to get uh, sharp photos and not blurry photos. This trick is also very helpful here because you can tell the camera that I will not have you pick a shutter speed lower than 1 over 50. Um, and I will show you this on the, my Sony camera now, but uh, I think almost every camera can use this, so it doesn't matter if you have a Nikon or you have a, a Canon, you can still use this trick. So I forgot to say that you have to use auto ISO for this uh, to work, but I really think that's a good thing also, because you can tell the, the, the camera to always pick a certain value of ISO. So you can say, I want you to always use uh, 200 ISO as the lowest and 5000 as the, the max. So my menus are in Danish, but I think you'll get the picture here. You have to go to uh, the menu number nine in the first page and it will say ISO minimum shutter or something like that. And uh, you can find the same menu if you have uh, another camera brand. ISO also minimum shutter speed, it's called. And you can see here, uh, the number I pick is the minimum shutter speed. It will uh, choose 500 or all up to 8,000 as my camera does. Uh, or you can have it uh, really slow if you wanted to as well. So I pick uh, 1 over 250 and you can see when I turn on auto ISO it automatically goes to 1 over 250 and I take the, the picture and it picked ISO 1000 I think. And uh, I go out here and try and you see now it, it's still 1 over 250 but it's uh, changing the ISO because it's uh, still auto ISO. And I'm changing the, the f-stop, but still it's not going under uh, 1 over 250. See now it's auto ISO 3000 because it's a bit darker inside. And I think you get the point now. So to sum up, these days cameras are really smart. They can help you so much that you don't have to be shooting in manual mode because it will only slow you down. A setting like aperture mode it's really good for street photography because the only thing you have to worry about is how blurry you want the picture to be, how much um, you want to have in focus. Using this uh, auto ISO minimum shutter speed, it will help you always get the shutter speed that you want for the certain situation. Situ for the certain situation, for the certain situation, really hard to say. Um, for instance, if you're shooting pets that run around fast, you can tell the camera that in 
aperture mode, no matter what, I will always have you to uh, choose 1 over 500 at least. Yes. And then, if you want more light, you have to bump up the ISO. And also, if you shoot handheld, there's this unwritten rule that your shutter speed should always be the double of your uh, focal length of your lens. And that's uh, a, really th a good thing to follow, I think, because it will get you more sharper photos. Uh, and if you use this uh, setting with the ISO and the shutter speed, you can tell the camera that I will not have you to go over, I will not have you to go under this uh, shutter speed, and you have a bigger chance of getting uh, sharper photos. So I really think that you should uh, try this setting out because it will help you uh, if you struggle with the blur photos, uh, and I do recommend it. I use it all the time. I hope you like this, and I hope to see you next time. Feel free to give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. It will really help me a lot, and I will see you next time. Boy.